Good morning everyone. We are still in Kilkenny heading off to the castle, which is called Kilkenny Castle. <laughs> Paddy was like, what's this castle called? <laughs> I was That's like, Kil yes you were, Kilkenny Castle. Well, what did you think it was called? I'm not gonna call it. <laughs> Very excited, because I actually don't think I've ever been to Kilkenny Castle. The hotel we're staying in, by the way, is called the Newport or New, New, Park. New Park Hotel. So nice, really nice dinner last night that we had. The staff are really, really, really friendly. Obviously following like protocol and stuff for COVID. The only thing I will say is like things like breakfast was a bit manic. There wasn't like there was, you have to book your breakfast. So like there wasn't like a whole load of us, but just like everyone was kind of like at the one place at the one time. So that would be kind of the only thing. The hotel's like superb, I can't say enough good things about it it's it's really great and it's so super clean and everything although our room is trashed at the moment because patty is so messy and cloddy <laughs> he has like stuff everywhere yeah, yeah? Oh, no, that's not true. no it is true yeah. you make up oh, and yeah. make wipes i nearly kill myself in the shower over conditioners and shampoos this is a place wrecked it's shocking really it's really cute here like they've let lots of old oh wow Lots of old buildings and stuff like that, and old building walls. Like, look at this. Like, it's quite nice. It's lovely. And all these little back streets that we are. Make sure they're not like one ways, are they? Oh no, it's not one way. Oh, it's quite cute. Look at this old church here. I'll show you a bit more when we're actually out and about. But it's really nice. It's There is a really nice little town, isn't it? Stuff. Or city, I mean. Kenny Castle and I have a feeling I was here when I was a child because I just recognize it. I don't know, I'll ask my mum and dad. Maybe I was here when I was like seven or eight. The grounds are huge, like they're like big gardens. It kind of reminds me of the Phoenix Park way back there, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It's really nice. Pals for Mmm. We are underground. Ooh. And that's pure wattle and daub right there. No? Mm -hmm. Oh, look at the gardens. I like these stairs. There's the tapestry room. Are you allowed in there? Oh, we'll probably go, are we? Room temporary closed due to COVID. Oh, no. Damn it. God help us with COVID. Here's the library, my favorite room in the house. Oh, wow. It's like the family tree. What's this room? Um, so, the walls had like silk. They're silk. Mm. And they found an original piece of it behind a skirting board. So they were able to recreate it. Obviously that's a recreation. But maybe this bit that's behind the perspex okay. is real. Or original maybe. Because why else would they put perspex around it? The 
blue corridor. The butlers are the name of the family that lived here till the 1930s. <gasps> Look at this. That's what she was talking about. The ceiling had fallen in on that room. There's more of the restoration of it. The nursery. I saw a woman get one of those rocking horses done up in a TV show before. Look, there's Noah's Ark. Yeah, study. See those things over there? They were to stop um, the heat coming off the fire. And I don't know about the thing, the tapestry thing that's right beside the fire. And I don't know if, um, if it was the same here, but in France it was to stop the lady's makeup um, melting off because some of it had wax in it. There's the bedroom. No, I'm sure. Any reason why the bed is tiny? They thought that if you slept kind of propped up in your bed, it would stop you getting sick. It's really propped up. Like, because it's really short. The bed's short. Yeah, your feet. It's kind of like a Chinese artifact. No way two people sleep in that bed. <laughs> Why couldn't two people sleep in that bed? What, you think short people can only sleep in that bed? <laughs> this is nice. This is my favorite part. I love this. Oh my God, this is gorgeous. And the carpet. Wow, this is so nice. Oh, so pretty. Do you like it? <laughs> this is unreal. What do you think this room is? It ain't no Sistine Chapel, but the ceiling's pretty cool. And the tapestry. That's incredible. Double fireplace. What's the need of it? To show off all their paintings. <laughs> I don't know. So that is our little tour of Kilkenny Castle. I rather enjoyed that. I love anything history related, even if it's my own history. And I've probably seen like things like Dublin Castle and other touristy places a million times, but I'd still go back and look at them all because I just, I don't know, I'm really intrigued by the history. But it's gorgeous in there. We had like a, not a tour guide, but we met like one of the little tour guides and she gave us uh, a little bit of information just about the castle and like who owned it and stuff. And I yeah, was just, I enjoyed it. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, it was good. Okay, right now we are gonna go for a little walk through the town. Just have a look and see what's in Kilkenny. I have my map. Oh, yeah. yeah, my bag. Why do you want it? Oh, and look at that cool little alleyway. And then this gives like the nod, like, hi. The girl that scared you. So we came down that big street. It is some sort. Yeah. That way you'll stop bumping into me and spilling my tea all over me. Do you want a scrum diddlies? <laughs> Are you sure? Oh, I like this little street. It is a gorgeous little street. Oh, wow. 
<laughs> Look at them, they're so cute. Oh, this is lovely. Hey guys, we're on like a little forest walk right now. I'm not actually sure what the name of the place is. Where are we? We're in Dunmore. We're in Dunmore. It's a really nice forest, like it's really pretty. So I'll show you what it looks like. Like it looks like a fairy walk, it's magical. And like all the little tree trunks and stuff. This is right up my alley, I love stuff like this. It's gorgeous and the big high walls and stuff. So pretty. Yeah, so there's two walks. Just gonna show you. Oh. So that's what if we stop for a second. That's kind of cool. It's like a fort. Quiet out here. Mm. Silent but deadly. Do you want to go to St. Coleman's Well? Is well? We'll go out and we'll see what St. Coleman's Well is. Here's the well. It's dried up a little bit. There's not much water well. in there. Oh. That's so nice. The Round Tower. Hello! Doesn't look much like Hagrid's home inside. Paddy loves Monica always. Paddy loves Monica always, are you joking? Paddy, who is this Monica girl? How would they know? <laughs> who is she? Who is she? <laughs> <laughs> They're so cute. Look at the shoes. Hello. And you're very pretty with your long feathers. <laughs> kind of looks like an ear. Well, I know it is an ear, but kind of looks like a human's ear on the side of their heads. <laughs> We want to share it around. It's like Oscar. Oh, look, he's like wagging his tail. He's so cute. What else have we got here? Llamas. Please be cautious of the Highland cow. Where is he? Oh, he's up there. Those are llamas. <laughs> They're so cute. Look at their faces. He's scratching himself. If they're llamas, is he a llama as well? Are you a llama? Or alpacas? Oh, there's a little Shetland pony up there. And there's the Highland cow. The little fairy trees, fairy houses. Mm. They're so cute. Imagine how much fun you'd have making that little house. <laughs> yeah, so this is what I'm wearing now for dinner. I'm wearing this top from Zara and these pants from Zara. And I think I might wear cons because I couldn't be bothered. This is what Paddy's wearing. You don't look what I'm wearing. Why? What's wrong with what you're wearing? Oversized and needs to be thrown in. I think it's nice. And I'm going to put a jacket on over it. So not very exciting, but thought you might want to see. I put this blazer on because I thought that it might... I don't know. It doesn't match at all. It's the only kind of jacket thing I have. I've decided to go with Converse because I don't know if it's raining out or not. But if it is raining, look at all the damage in my hair. But if it is raining, I 
I don't know, I prefer to be in flats than heels. So I said I'd go with cons. Why not? The doors are opening. Lunches are plastic. I'd rather not, thanks. Ooh. We're going to an Indian tonight. And I think it's called Indik mm -hmm. in something like that. And it's one of like the best rated Indians in the whole of Leinster. So I'm very excited to try that. So it's like even better than like anywhere in Dublin. Apparently. And then we went to a lovely restaurant earlier on an it Italian an across Irish. the road from Castle. But I can't remember the name of it. If I think of it, I'll put it on screen. I'll find out what it was. It was amazing. It's won like Michelin star oh, um, awards and stuff. It was fantastic. I really, really, really liked it. So I'd highly recommend trying that out if you have it. Okay, so there is the Indian restaurant and it's called Indik. Yeah, I think I said that right earlier. And it's so cute. So this is the one that has like loads of awards and stuff. So we're going in. coming in here it takes your temperature so I feel quite safe already because <laughs> not that many places have done that with us and we've like just walked in like they take your name for contact tracing but no temperature my temperature was perfect by the way what are they called again? what are you doing? not thinking what? <laughs> just after leaving it was lovely strong the servant. I'm not drunk, I have one glass of wine. The serve, the serve. <laughs> She's flutered. I had um I had the nicest meal ever in there. I went really plain and went and got butter chicken and I kind of regretted it. It was delicious, don't get me wrong. But like as soon as I ate it, I was like, I really want a cake of spice. I should have got like Jalfrazy or Rogan Josh. Rogan Josh is the one I used to oh no, is the one I always used to get. And I love that. It was just amazing. The service was really good. They were really, really friendly. <laughs> Took our temperature, I said that earlier. Based out, dinner tables. Really, really, really good kind of dining experience. I really liked it and I thought it was amazing. It kind of feels surreal being out eating. It feels like normal, doesn't it? Do you Get think off. it feels weird? T no. Tell the camera, do you think it feels tell weird? <laughs> Sir, do you find it strange <laughs> dining now? Actually, the place that we went for the Italian earlier on is right here. That's where we went earlier and it's really nice. I feel like dining out now is kind of strange, but not like really weird. I don't know. Today wasn't a great day in Ireland either for COVID. I think we had like 30, 33 cases, wasn't it? 34 and three deaths sadly so I don't Second know they've well they've kind of like pushed back a lot of our push back a lot of our dates for things yeah. opening so I don't know what's gonna happen and anyway, we're going back to the hotel for a drink for now because this could be the last time that we're in a hotel yeah. for a while fingers crossed anyway that like things start to get a bit better Hey guys, we're done, we're checked out, and we're, <laughs> and we're we're leaving the New Park Hotel. I really, really, really loved it. I loved being down in Kilkenny, I loved the people, they're so nice. I actually can't deal with it, they're just the nicest people ever. Just the whole stay here was lovely. The place that we did stay in is quite kid friendly, like if you had children, like it's like probably the best place to go. It was just, it's really nice as well for like a couple's weekend away as well but just if you do have kids I definitely definitely recommend it that's where I'm gonna end my little Kilkenny vlog I hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog coming with me I'll see you back at home for another vlog thanks guys for watching I love you and talk to you soon bye